Hey guys, welcome to Video Tech Reviews. And first off, I want to say sorry for not posting a video in two weeks. I was actually on vacation these two weeks, or one week, and my birthday was a week after. So wish me a happy late birthday if you want down in the comments. Uh, but yeah, now I'm back and I have water cooling parts. I'm going to be going ahead and doing a custom water cooling build. So let's get to that. Bam. That's a radiator. That's the reservoir, and that is the pump. Alrighty, first things first, I'm the realist. Uh, Swift Tech Micro Res, uh, Revision 2, it's that one. Very popular Micro Res. Which actually came with these barb fittings. These are half inch and I think 3 eighths inch barb fittings, which are cool. We have the Phobia DC12260 PWM 12 volt pump. Whew, that's a mouthful. Uh, yeah. It's a DC-12 pump by Phobia. Yeah, there we go. And we got the radiator, which is a Magical 360 Slim radiator, which I did have problems with, which I'll show you right now. But it came with these little grommets, which I think are which I think are really cool, honestly. I have not seen this ever. We got my silver bullet for all that corrosive stuff, and because I couldn't afford PT Nuke. Uh, that already showed you. This is mounting hardware with the reservoir, reservoir radiator. And, as you can see, this is the normal 360 rad, but what the hell is that? That is some white residue left off from, I assume, testing. I've already uh, emailed and called Performance PC about this, because this is where I got all my parts from, Performance PC. I don't know. Like, I have no idea what the hell happened here. I mean, there is some, it seems like some stuff also in the little holes in the fit for the fittings which I'll open right now you can barely see that but yeah that stuff uh, I actually already filled this with you know normal tap water uh, to rinse it out a little to get all the flux out of it and I also rinsed out that it seemed to have come off a bit and there was no leakage around that area so I think we're good so yeah let's get to the good stuff, which I'm gonna move my. Sorry. We got these Phobia black nickel plated um, fittings. I mean, this focus is like really bad. But yeah, we got that. And I also got, you know, as you can see, this is actually the same thing. That's the compression part of it. Actually, let me see if I could put that down at all. Here it is. There we go. That looks nice. I think they look pretty nice. I actually have one that's got a ding on it. I don't know which one it is. But yeah, I dropped one. So yeah, that's my problem. And I also have the CPU cooler, Phobia CPU cooler UC2, as you can see. And I think it looks pretty badass. It's the AMD one, of course. And that's going in my system here. Because I'm replacing that HDI. Got that 360 right up top. I think it's gonna look pretty badass. I'm not putting the GPU. Whoops, camera shake. I'm not putting the GPU in the loop, which is like super saturated with the light. But I'm not putting the GPU in the loop because there is actually no block for that GPU. Ah, so much shaky. Sorry guys, I'm recording with my phone. So yeah, that's the plan. I'll get back to you guys once. I get first off the distilled water and I at least start putting things inside of the case. Alright, so see you then. Alright guys, so I'm just going to really quick take off uh, the mounting stuff on this. I'm going to put the water block for the CPU on there. I just remembered I need to get the thermal paste. But something I forgot to mention, I think I did didn't mention it, uh, was my tube, my long tube, uh, it's gonna be clear, it's very, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's very kinky, I mean, as in it kinks, but fairly easily, so I don't know if you can see it, this is, uh, 3 eighths inner diameter and 1 half outer diameter, which probably, yeah, it's very thin walled, so, Basically, yeah, that's the deal, guys. That's my tube. That's my computer. Let's put everything together in one nice little knot. But first, we gotta get this bad boy on there. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Let's do it.
All right, now that I got that in there, I just want to point out that this came with like no instructions for any of this. I kind of just guessed, and it came with these screws, and I have no idea what these are for. Um, so yeah, if this is wrong and looks really bad, I'm actually going to see if this looks good. Um, hmm. Yeah, uh, that doesn't look too good. That doesn't seem too good. I think this one is actually off. Aha! Okay. I think this might work. This is not really part of the build, it's getting rainy and dark. Oh, you actually couldn't see that in the video. That's weird. Lightning just struck over there. But anyways, let's get back to the build. Alright, so I took off the fans up top so I can put the radiator up there. I also took off the fan on the bottom so I can put that, so I can put the pump. I'm going to be putting that, that 140mm fan as an exhaust. And I'm still skeptical. I don't know if I'm going to want to do uh, three intakes up here. Or, and of course, push. Or if I'm going to want to have the three in pull. Because the radiator didn't come with the short screws to mount the radiator. Unless I can find some of those short screws inside the thing for this. So I'm going to need to go pick this up because if not, my mom's going to have a hissy fit when she sees I used her precious uh, table to take apart my computer. So I need to run. <laughs> All right, so I have the pump on. I'm still kind of sort of thinking on how I want the loop to flow. And by the way, I think these black uh, nickel plated Fittings look just gorgeous, especially on this, on the, on the block. Uh, anyways, so this is the out, and this needs to go to the top of the pump, and then I want it to go into the CPU, out of the CPU, into the radiator, and then down back into the reservoir. Uh, I just don't know how I'm going to do that. Those bends might be a little tight, and it might be a little squiggly. So, hopefully, it's not too bad. I'll get back to you when I get on that. Phobia DC-12-260 pump. I don't know if you guys have seen it before. Outlet, inlet. At least I think so. They're not marked. Wait. No, they're not. So, I'm going to have to guess on that. I'm be putting black nickel fittings um, like so I think that looks pretty cool that's going right here in there and I'm kind of debating whether I should use these velcro thingies or hard to do with one hand this anti vibration tape thing glued kind of I think the Velcro might be a little bit better because, of course, I can remove it. So hopefully everything goes well. We're going to see once I decide and pump and mount it and stuff. Right, so I got it in. Uh, okay, so basically what I did was I put the little Velcro thing and the rubber anti-vibration thing. Uh... It wiggles a bit. I think it actually might be touching. No, sorry. 
in the metal part. There's like no focus on here. Whatever. Uh, it seems fine. Okay, so I think this is it for now. So I have, you know, reservoir to pump, pump to block. And I'm gonna do that. But let me take you guys to the rear. And I don't know if you can see that. Here is like a kink about to form if it's not already. It's a little flat. Requires some like moving for me to get it right. As you can see in the front there, I think that is also a kink. So let me actually stick my hand there. Feel it? Yeah. So I might need to move this back. And as you can see, I removed it from the original place that it was. Mainly because of the kink issue. That's what happens when you go for tubing that is thin walled. Let's go ahead and move back over to the front. Uh, main thing I dislike. First of all, what the fuck? What the hell, Tygon? Why would you put branding on your tube? In gold! In like, no, it's like off-white. What the hell? Uh, I don't think I can take it off. But what the hell? That just sucks because I'm going with clear tubing, so it's gonna look exactly like this, basically. And I don't like that that tube intersects, and I think that looks dumb and ugly, in my opinion. So, but yeah, I guess this is this is like legitimately for me right now is the only way to route this because I don't have it was I don't have 90 degree fittings, which I wish I did, but they cost too much. Now, once I get that radiator up there, that's gonna be a whole different story. It is a kind of a pain in the ass.